A young mother and her child died in a crash that shook the small town of Haula last night. The crash happened around 9.15 on Kamehameha Highway near Haula Homestead Road. Police believe the white sedan crossed the center line and collided with an oncoming car. Sarah Madison spoke to the family and has more. The victim's mother tells us her daughter, Tiana Wooten, and her grandson, Zayden, are from Wailua, but they were heading to her place right before the crash. Debris from the crash and fresh flowers are what's left along the highway. Tuesday night, police say a white car heading southbound on Kamehameha Highway crossed over into the opposite lane of traffic and collided with another vehicle. 31-year-old Tiana Wooten and her son Zayden were in the white car and died at the scene. Vanessa Rosa lives in Punalu'u and heard sirens passing by. That's when she started to get worried. I wanted to know what color was the vehicle. And my, daughter, my other daughter at home came out and said, uh, Mom, you better go check. I think it's his daughter and your grandson. So we drove down here. We drove down here only to find... <laughs> My daughter and my grandson here. Stacy Curvin was driving home when she saw the crash scene and stopped to help. We were with some of the family members that were walking, and uh, they ended up coming upon, you know, the accident, the accident scene, and um, uh, being. A, I'm actually a chaplain at the hospital over at Tripler, and. Um, I just kind of went into what we do, you know, when we you know, as a chaplain, when you take care of people, that's what you do, you take care of family members and are there to support them and kind of pray for them. Family members came back to the scene mourning the precious lives lost. My daughter, Tiana, she was very young and she left back two children out of three. She got her son with her. She's a very hardworking mother, loving, caring, Puts a smile on anyone's face at work. Rosa says her grandson, Zayden, would have turned seven years old next month. He was the most loving, caring as child. So, so soft-spoken. Loved his mom very much. A 35-year-old man and woman who were in the gray vehicle are from Utah and were taken to the hospital in serious condition. They were here on their honeymoon. Sarah Madison, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.